Hello, Andrew. Welcome Good to morning. the Pete. Welcome to the Pete Show. Joan Collins says, if you're over forty, don't even think about wearing jeans. What do you say? Uh, I don't agree with her, but I think she has got a point. I think a lot of women over 40 need to be more careful about the style of clothes that they wear. I love wearing jeans, but I do spend a bit more money on them rather than going to your local market and buying the cheapy ones for £12. A lot of people are saying that, aren't they? So when you get older, you can wear what you like, but it's got to be expensive, it's got to be fitted, you can't wear any old, you know, cheap stuff. I think it's the style as well. I mean, for example, bootleg jeans, I, I wear them quite a lot and I'm over 40. And they look absolutely fantastic because they, the bootlegs have evens out the, because you've got it slightly wider down by the ankle, it evens out the, the slightly larger hips. So the last thing people need to wear is like very narrow jeans because they show the hips up to be larger. And the picture of Joan this morning, I mean, she doesn't look particularly good in her. She's got nice legs, but in fact, it's, it's emphasising the top she's got and emphasises her rather larger tummy. So it's about how you put the clothes together, and jeans can look elegant, and they can you can dress them up, but you've got to be careful that the style suits you. Now, the, the, here's the thing. This is a, a guy who tweets in the name of Kingsley Raw, the Reading mascot. I'm imagining it's a man, right? He says, yes. Peachy, it's not to do with the lady's age, it's just to do with the size of her bottom, which yes. I suppose is, you know, in a way, just designed to get laugh. But is the truth in that? Yes, it is. I mean, you can see girls in their teens and 20s that shouldn't be wearing tight, tight, tight jeans or, or trousers of any description. So you've really got to go on how you look in something. And it's important that you look in the long mirror and say, yeah, does that make me look good? Or do I look fatter in it? And it's all about whether it's jeans or a pair of trousers, you, you have to get the right cut. So they're not, they're not too tight, but they actually hold you in in the right... In fact, jeans are quite good for holding you in in the right place. But you don't, you don't, you will not be able to get a decent pair of jeans that will fit most people. You know, they're going to say the market ones, you've got to go up market and they may be between 40, 60 pounds. And then you can really look good in them because right. they hold the wind. So the mistake people make then, Alison, is, is, is in thinking, you know, do I like that garment? Do I want to look good in that? Rather than actually, what's the reality? Absolutely. Get a long mirror. Very important. And then get a friend to give you an honest opinion. And it's got to be a friend that will be honest with you and doesn't say that you look nice and everything because your confidence is perhaps not, not great. So it's very, very important. Right, honesty is everything. There's a story around today about a mirror that can try on the clothes for you. I don't know if you've seen this, but uh, uh, it's a clever mirror that can sort of show you what you would look like wearing the clothes without you actually having to put the clothes on. It's I mean, that's already, that's, that's on my, uh, my Facebook page this morning, actually. I thought it was brilliant. I, I, my comment was, you know, it can save everybody, a lot of uh, us busy women, a lot of time if you can try your clothes in this way. It doesn't mean to save or we'll spend less, though. As long as, it's, yeah, as long as it's good. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it don't mean that. Nothing ever means that, does it? Um, <laughs> Alison, thanks for coming on. All right, thanks, Andrew. Bye. Bye. Uh, to Alison in Maidenhead, BBC Radio Berkshire.